Good morning, Knights, and welcome to another episode of Nightline News. Broadcasting from the state of our facilities here at Nightline News headquarters, I am Jameer. And I am Jim. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, and it is a day two. And now, here's Russell with today's weather. <clears throat> Thank you, Jameer. Today's going to be a high of 54 degrees with a low of 43, and expected showers in the morning will become clouds this afternoon. And now, Jameer and Jim, what are some of the things happening here at AP that students should know about? Thank you, Russell. Important library announcement. The library will be closed today. Students, do not ask for a pass to use the library today. Becca's Blood Drive. Becca's Blood Drives will take place tomorrow, Wednesday, May 3rd. The, events will, the event will be held in the auxiliary gym from 8 to 1. Please schedule an appointment to donate at this special blood drive. You'll feel good knowing you've helped change the lives of patients in need. Please remember to eat, drink, and bring a photo ID. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, please contact Mrs. Seifer in room 224. Email dseif at sedstudent.org or contact an Interact Club member. Important announcement regarding the staff parking lot. The staff parking lot is strictly reserved for administration, staff, and faculty at Academy Park. If a student vehicle is discovered parked in the staff parking lot, it will be ticketed or towed. Important PBIS announcement. This announcement is about our upcoming P uh, positive behavior intervention and support PBIS war days at Academy Park High School this spring. Tentatively, weather permitting, the Academy Park High School PBIS war days will be next week on May 9th and 10th. Students have the opportunity to participate in activities on the football field, enjoy sour pretzels, bottled water, and listen to music. In order for this event to positively impact student behavior and the climate of the building, students should already be aware of expectations for eligibility. We had announced our criteria to students prior to spring break. However, this communication serves as an additional reminder to students and also to keep parents informed. Ninth graders will enjoy their PBRS word day time during second block on May 9th, and 10th graders will enjoy their PBRS word day during fourth block on May 9th. 11th graders will enjoy their PBIS award day time during second block on May 10th, and seniors will enjoy their PBIS award day time during fourth block on May 10th. In order to be eligible to participate in the PBIS race, you spent this whole month period. Of course, during the fourth market period prior to your scheduled PBIS award day. Students, we hope this positive behavior incentive is one that you look forward to participating in and will add an additional reminder. It's an incentive to finishing out your 2022 2023 school year on a strong note. And okay. now, here are Kylie and Marin with your scores for today. Thank you, Jimmy. If you're in Aries, make sure you know what you need before taking action. Don't let friends hold you back or slow you down. Taurus, follow your gut feelings regarding what you need to do to stay ahead. Gemini, you may have hit an adversary who'd like to prove you wrong, but on the other hand, someone you like may be actively seeking your company. Cancer, focus and concentration will serve you well today. Be prepared to take care of important issues that present themselves. Leo, don't let your personal dilemmas interfere with your goals today. Sharing your unique ideas may win you favor. Virgo, emotions may keep you from seeing things accurately today. Valuable information can be yours if you listen to those with experience. Libra, you'll be indecisive today. Listen to others and formulate your course of action. Scorpio, don't let your emotions interfere with your integrity. Turn a relationship you are struggling with around and start a new one. Sagittarius, you're in a high-energy, get-it-all-done mood, and you'll have little patience with those who are slacking off. Capricorn, new friendships will develop through group events. You're in the mood to do things such as competitive sports or club activities. Aquarius, your ability to clearly express ideas will help you convince others of new possibilities. Don't make any rash statements you may regret later. Pisces, things are looking good for you, so open your eyes and get to it. Additionally, make sure you are in control of your emotions. That is all for today's horoscopes. Now back to Jameer and Jim for more news. Thank you, Callie and Miriam. Hey, students, remember not to find yourself in the house without a pass or with your hoods up. Any student that is caught with a hood up or without a pass will not be given a warning and will be sent to our turn for immediate suspension. And now it's time for your sports history and birthday news for today. The lacrosse team picked up another one yesterday afternoon, defeating host Sacred Heart by a score of 12 to 9. Deanna Allen and Amari McClendon each scored four goals. Taviara Sudler was right behind them with three of her own. It's Sakaya Reth Miller who scored the first goal of her career. The defense played strong and kept us ahead the entire game. Anaya Davis and Nazira Miller anchored the defense with help from Bianca Cisse, Jane Gorman, and midfield Izzy. Cross line. Amari McLeddon, Toy Sudler, Mancy Togba made four saves in goal. The Lady Knights traveled to Chichester on Wednesday afternoon and Interboro on Thursday night. 
Boys Tennis. The Boys Tennis team dropped a tough match to an experienced friend select team yesterday. The team's continued improvement showed itself on court with especially strong play from beginners Jonathan Page and singles and doubles team Jose Figueroa slash Alan Lawrence. Also playing well for the Knights were seeing Jacob Krautheim and freshman Darius Howard and the doubles team of newcomers Shadmir Lee and Damar Lohman playing in their first match. Another newcomer to the team, Fode Coloco, played his first singles match yesterday. Way to go, Knights. The team travels to right local rival Ridley this afternoon. Dismissal is at 2 o'clock. Lemoir back at 2.15. And now for some history. On this day, May 2nd in 1946, an attempted prison escape by six inmates at the famed Alcatraz prison in San Francisco resulted in two days of violent fighting, which became known as the Battle of Alcatraz. Frank Morris, John England, and Clarence England successfully carried out one of the most intricate escapes ever devised. Even though the escape from Alcatraz was memorable, the most famous event that occurred on May 2nd happened in 2011. On this day 12 years ago, the organizer of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Osama bin Laden, was found and killed. It took nearly 10 years to find bin Laden. This 9-11 attack changed the world forever, and the killing of bin Laden gave many families closure. And now on a lighter note, here is some birthday news. Hey Knights, did you know that today, May 2nd, is The Rock or Dwayne Johnson's birthday? Johnson is turning 50 this year, and he shares a birthday with some students of Academy Park, such as Naz Naija Allen, Malachi Johnson, Salim Lane, Jalen Lucano, Ramutu Lume, Gabriel Matos, Kylie Price, Michael Cisse, and Jalen Williams. Whoa, there are a lot of birthdays today, nine in total. What a surprise. It is usually four or five, but nine? Wow, have an amazing day today, Knights. That is all for today's news. Remember, nice, keep those electronics out of sight, those hoods off, those IDs visible, and any clear backpacks in classrooms. Thanks to Mr. Russo's journalism, journalism class for their contributions today. And remember, if you have an announcement that you'd like to see included in our Nightline News broadcast, please email a completed draft of the announcement to Dr. Russ. Thank you for joining us today, and have a great day, Knights.